Who's it known to late night with Conan? Not a, not a bad hop for the Scarborough kids. Still ahead on today's show, keep your eyes on the screen as master magician Cardine gets set to amaze and amuse. Cardine? Okay, our first guest today is uh, uh, no newcomer to the magic circles. Everybody knows him. He's a veteran of past programs like the Mike Douglas Show and Merv Griffin and Johnny Carson. He's also open for some of the best in the business, including stars like Bill Cosby and Elton John and Genesis. Cardine is his name. He's a master magician, an illusionist, a stuntman who actually made himself disappear out of the biz for a while, but he's currently back on track these days with appearances here in Toronto at the Glass Bucket on October 3rd, and again at the Royal York Hotel a little bit later on October 13th, and again at the Imperial Room on November 1st. Pleasure to have you with us today, Cardine. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. You're a Florida boy, and yes. uh, wh why did you drop out for a while? You were earning a million dollars a year. It this was, was... This was in 1978 when a million dollars was worth a million dollars. A lot of money. Yeah. U.S. dollars, too. That's right. 10000 a night for a performance. <laughs> I guess it was a matter of um, just years of doing it. I got uh, burnt out, tired, exhausted, and I just felt I needed to get away for a while. Because it was mostly one-nighters too, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it was one-nighters all across uh, the world. Oh, dear. Well, that is exhausting. It pretty, is. Pretty soon you say, to hell with the money, I've got to rest and get well, away. Well, you, you don't really think of the money anymore because you're, you're performing. You don't, you don't see mm -hmm. it. It just goes into some manager's account anyway. <laughs> Why not just go home and lie down? That's it. Okay, we're awfully glad that you're back with us Thank now. You. Uh, what are you going to do for us? You just say you have a new card I, trick that you're going to... have something new. Um, uh, may or may not work, but uh, we'll try today. Okay. I have a deck of cards, and this is a, from a drugstore in Florida called Eckerd's. So that's a, Regular... a, a 99 cent deck of cards. Deck of cards. Okay, and it's, a, it's a simple trick, and we'll see if it works. And what I want you to do is, I'm going to open the cards in front of you. I want you to choose any cards you like. Don't let me see it. And be, be completely sure. Is, is that the one you want? That's the one I want. You can change your mind if you want to. No. But you can if you want to. Got it. Shall okay, I look go, at it? Go ahead. Take it right out and look at it. Have you seen it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now slide it back in again. Put it about halfway in because I want to show the audience the card. So that's the card. Yes. Okay. Now I'm, I'm not looking at the monitor so I can't see it. Yeah. Okay. Now the card's back in the deck. You won't forget the card. <laughs> I'll write it down. Okay, so this is a fabulous new trick. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Okay, you ready? Mm hmm. Now there's your card. Mm -mm, wrong O. Uh, but it's close to your card. Well, not really. Same color. No. Okay. <laughs> that, that was just, we were just testing. We'll try it again. And okay. there's your card. No, sir. But this time it's the right color. Yeah. We have 50 more cards to go. Okay. We're getting really Lots close. Of time. <laughs> now we'll do something a little bit different. We'll put the two cards right in the center like that. Mm hmm. And what was your card? It was a three of diamonds. Yeah, and if we just do this just right, out comes the, <laughs> the, the, three, the three of, of diamonds. diamonds. Okay. <laughs> That's wonderful. So those are some of the new things I'm working on. Mm -hmm. And Now, do you do um, mostly close-up like no, that? No, I don't do close-up at all. Well, you're very good at it. Well, thank you. Do it. What do you do, the illusions? Well, my, I guess my claim to fame is um, in magic was floating an elephant across uh, Radio City Music Hall. That's the largest magic effect. But I'm in the Guinness Book as the world's fastest escape artist. Uh, that's why I wore my Guinness sweater today. I like that. That's terrific. I wish I had one of they those. They didn't give you one when you got in the they book? They probably did, but oh, okay. the moths got All to right, them. What, what did you get in the Guinness Book of Records? Uh, well, originally I was in there for um, a 24-second escape from a straitjacket. And up to that point, that was the fastest mm -hmm. uh, escape from a straitjacket. I think before Houdini was there for four or five minutes to get out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, got any, I see there's a 25 cent piece on the desk. Well, they, they, they've asked me to do some close-up magic, mm -hmm. so I'm doing some close-up magic for you. Again, I, I really don't do close-up much, but I understand that you're a magician and you're into this a little bit. I'm a fan. You're a fan. Okay, so am I. I'm a fan also. I like using your Canadian quarters because they're so small uh -huh. and they're easy to use. And I'll show you a quick close-up magic trick. It works like this. You take the coin like that, and then you just make it disappear. That's amazing. And it comes back underneath there again. 
<laughs> to the gap. Oh, no, never. Come on. I'm... I can't do it again. That's the, that's the <laughs> magician credo. You can only do it once. Only do it once. Only do it Not once. Not again, because you might catch on. That was that's right. very clever. That Thank was very you. Good. Okay, now you're going to be at the uh, Glass Bucket on October 3rd. Yes, that's Glass a, Bucket. It, there's a fabulous show um, that they're having there. It's a, a contest of magicians, mm -hmm. and they've had several weeks of uh, uh, contest. Now, all the winners will be on this one grand finale for the grand magician. Now, I'm not in the contest. I'm just there to say hello, and I'm going to do a quick little trick, and then these master magicians are going to do their bent. Oh, that's wonderful. So uh, an entire evening of... Uh... Entire evening of magic, and they're really very good. These are the best magicians I've seen in a long time. Okay, we're looking forward to that. The Glass Bucket on October the 3rd. Thank you, Cardine, for Thank coming you. in. Thank you. Really a pleasure meeting you. Thank you.